So there I was, watching Raw Monday night. Why? That's the ultimate question. Why would anybody put themselves through that? But I did. The primary reason why is I'm looking for reasons to get excited, just looking for something at this point to get me in the mood for the 2019 Royal Rumble. And I don't feel like that's too much to ask. And when I look at a Royal Rumble match that to me is really truly lacking for obvious winners and obvious quality winners and rightful winners at that, I'm looking for other things to get me in the mood, frankly. How me get the mojo back a little bit. And of course, when you look at the Universal Championship picture and you see Brock Lesnar is the champion again, boring the brakes off of one and all with another boring title reign again, that most certainly isn't helping to sweeten the pot. Now, original plans were for Braun Strowman to face him at the Royal Rumble. And yeah, been there, done that before. Not really the type of show you would think that you would have Braun win the title for the first time, which means he's probably slated to lose which appeals even less to me. So for whatever reason, whether that's Vince didn't want Braun to lose to Brock again, or Braun maybe wasn't fully mended from his elbow injury, I don't know and I don't care. But the point is, they went into Raw Monday night with the whole premise of coming up with a new number one contender to face Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. Lots of options. Not necessarily good ones. Drew might have been different. Baron Corbin would have been like train wreck funny. And yes, you could have always went down the path of John Cena once again. But no, 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 no. The WWE went in a slightly different direction. Brock Lesnar's opponent for the Universal title at the 2019 Royal Rumble at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona is Finn Balor! Let's say it again, Finn Balor! One more time for all of those in the cheap sheets. Saints, whatever. Finn Balor! Finny the Twink. Finn Flipping is going to be facing Brock fucking Lesnar at a Big Four pay-per-view for the goddamn world title. What, 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 what the fuck is going on here? Now, it's one thing we're talking about the Universal title. is already a B title, even though it's on the A show. And never mind the fact that this is the Royal Rumble, where the Royal Rumble match carries way more weight than any particular title match, even up to and including a world title match. It does. So you can get away with a slightly less than marquee title match at the Royal Rumble. You can get away with that. And in and of itself, just because it's Finn Balor doesn't automatically make it stupid. The fact that it was Finn Balor, where his character doesn't do shit, they haven't booked him to do shit, and now all of a sudden he comes prancing and gallivant now, and we're going to make him the number one freaking contender. This is one of many things that makes WWE's product so stupid today. You want to know how I know Finn Balor getting this title opportunity is stupid. The people tell me. And you know what I mean by that? Is when I tweet about Finn Balor, that's what we've gotten to in today as well, tweet about how stupid it is that Finn Balor won that match on Raw and is going to face Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble 
Usually typing something like that about somebody that the hardcore fan circle jerk to would get everybody or at least some people into a tizzy and we get into some flaming keyboard fingers of file war on the social media Twitter device. And instead, none of that happened. Like I would even venture to guess that I would even get more pushback if I had said the same shit if Dolph Ziggler was being put in the same opportunity, and how pathetic is that? Oh yeah, one, two, three. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler! Finn Balor getting this opportunity is so stupid that even the Finnites really don't have shit to say. Even the Balor Club hasn't gotten their panties in enough of a bunch to sit there and go in flame wars and talk about how great Nassim this is. It's not just because of the size and not even how unbelievable that would be. It's the fact that there has been no build-up to Balor at all whatsoever getting into this spot, this moment, this opportunity. You're just basically doing it for the fuck all of it because we want to do something different. Well, again, we can pull our dicks out in the middle of the ring. That's different, and a lot of people aren't going to want to see that. You get the point? Just because it's different doesn't automatically make it good. It's like you build up these characters sometimes and then don't follow through. And you just randomly throw these guys into situations when you haven't built them up one fucking bit. Like to me, I look at matches and I say you want as much as possible to have it be a win-win for all parties involved. And when you look at this match specifically on the surface... If you're in any type of mode of trying to protect or care for the Brock Lesnar character at this point in time, you have set up that character in a total, complete, lose-lose situation. If Brock squashes him, then Finn Balor looks fucking stupid, and the whole premise of this looks stupid. If Finn Balor, who hasn't mattered for 90% of 2018, has a competitive match with Brock Lesnar, then that makes Brock Lesnar look stupid. Are you going to do you have Finn Balor fucking beat him? Are you insane? Are you insane? How stupid would that make everybody damn look? All the times of Roman Reigns, all the times of Braun Strowman, of Samoa Joe, and so many others can't beat this guy. Takes Roman for fucking ever to finally beat him. That Finn Balor first opportunity would freaking beat him. This is dumb, stupid, horse shit. Like, what is so goddamn special about Finn Balor that so many people get giggly tits about him? I don't give a fuck what Fergal did in other places. This isn't other places. This is here, and this is now. And this dude has two things going for him. His entrance. <sighs> Which is even suspect in and of itself. And the damn demon body paint that he wears two to three times a year. Outside of that, what is he? A fucking twinkie looking Calvin Klein underwear model dude. That's just another jabroni in the damn ring. That's what he is. He's a fucking cruiserweight going up against the goddamn heavyweight for your universal title. Like when you ask people, ask fans, even Balor fans, what is so goddamn awesome and special about Finn Balor, I'm typically here. You know what that's all was? Nothing! Because they cannot properly enumerate what the hell it is that they like about this guy in a WWE context. This is a character is stupid. What's he going to do? Carry this program up to the Royal Rumble on the fucking microphone? Are you nuts? His look is a goddamn cruiserweight. In ring, there is literally nothing, nothing, nothing different from him than any other dozens of other jabronis on the goddamn roster. And when you talk about things like charisma and presence and connecting with the audience and so on and so forth, these idiot hardcore fans have no standards anymore. They'll connect with just about anything if it's a guy that wrestled in Japan around the goddamn independency and they do a couple of flips. And they're not too big. Because that way they can relate to him. That's what we got down to. And then from the character standpoint, what the fuck is a Finn Balor? 
And even when he puts out the goddamn demon paint. This is how stupid this is. There is literally nothing different about him. The way he wrestles is the same. The way he walks is the same. The way he acts is the same. The way he works is the same. It's all the same and it all sucks. Like to me, put on the body paint, come up for your entrance, and that's it. That's the entire appeal of Finn Balor. And these assholes of WWE have now decided they're going to put him in a world title match at the Royal Rumble. I was looking for reasons to get more excited about this year's show. Not less excited. And thanks to the stupidity and randomness of the WWE, they've managed once again to out-fucking-do themselves. What a bunch of crap.